Alhamdulillah wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba' Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lets us know that the believers are the successful ones qad aflaha al-mu'minun those people who honor the prayer who establish the prayer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and pr protect their private parts, stay away from zina and fisk and those things which are unlawful. And those are the muflihun, those people are the successful ones with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us the characteristics of the believers all throughout the Quran that they are those people who honor the covenants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and those people who have the characteristics of khair they command the good and they forbid the evil they establish the prayer they spin from what they are provide what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has provided for them as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in surah al-baqarah alif lam mim ذَلِكَ الْكِتَابَ لَا رَيْبَ فِيهُ هُدٍ لِلْمُتَّقِينَ الَّذِينَ يُؤْمِنُونَ بِالْغَيْبِ Very, Those people who believe in the ghayb, they believe in the unseen, that which they haven't seen, they haven't experienced it. They believe it because it's in the Qur'an, it's in the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they believe it because it's in the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. الَّذِينَ يُؤْمِنُونَ بِالْغَيْبِ وَيُقِمُونَ الصَّلَاةِ And they establish the prayer. وَيُقِمُونَ الصَّلَاةِ وَمِمَّا رَزَقَنَاهُمْ يُنْفِقُونَ And from what Allah has provided them, and from, from what we've provided them, they spend. Those are the believers. Those are the characteristics of the mu'minun. قَدْ أَفْلَهَ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ Those people, they're successful. Those people are ala hudan. They're, they're on guidance. أُولَٰئِكَ عَلَىٰ هُدٍ مِّن رَبِّهِمْ وَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمْ مُفْلِحُونَ They're the successful ones. That's what we want. We want the characteristics of the believers. The characteristics of those people who Allah is pleased with. And those people are Ahl Sunnah. And Ahl Sunnah is not just a name that we call ourselves, but it means you're adhering to the Qur'an. You're adhering to the Sunnah of the Prophet Wasallam. You're trying to enjoin the good and forbid the evil. And you're trying to possess those characteristics, spinning from your wealth. Giving charity, being kind, be, commanding good, forbidding evil, being gentle, having the good manners. All of that is from Ahl Sunnah. Those are characteristics we want. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.